Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and what we have for you today is the ViewSonic M1. It is a portable projector priced at about 35,000 rupees and boasts of Harman Kardon speakers. Is it uh, worth your consideration? Well, we're about to find out. Kicking things off with the build and design of this projector, it has this uh, gunmetal finish all throughout with plastic and metal thrown into the mix and the grill on top uh, below which uh, house the Harman Kardon powered uh, speaker. So that's right up top and center. And on the side here, you have all your connectivity options. Now, this is quite uh, the feature rich connectivity options you can get on a portable projector from a micro SD card slot, USB-C, an HDMI port, a full-size USB port and headphones out in case you want to connect external speakers via 3.5 mm or just wear headphones so you don't disturb others in the house. So the connectivity options are nicely hidden behind this. You also have uh, the focus wheel out here and of course the standard uh, projector mount at the bottom but you actually don't need to use this because this is how the projector stands on a table. It has uh, the lens cap which actually doubles up as a projector uh, stand as well. So that is really, really cool. Now at the back you have some physical controls and of course indicators for the battery. So when it comes to the build and design, this is really, really nifty. I mean the built-in stand is something that means that you can align it slightly vertically, uh, slightly facing upwards or downwards based on the position if your wall is higher, if you have some obstacles right in front and the screen size that it gives you is about 100 inches from 9 feet away. When it comes to performance what we did was we connected a Fire TV stick and a USB device to this to watch content. Um, we saw movies like John Wick and Mission Impossible from Netflix to get the action sequences to see how well the speakers perform and here's the thing. It doesn't have the best sounding speakers we've heard of a portable projector. We have heard better Bluetooth speakers out there, for example. But the fact that it's in this package and it's really, really loud. We are sitting in a normal size bedroom, which is about 10 feet by 12 feet. We did not need to raise the volume beyond 40% to be really, really clear and audible. And of course, give you that immersive experience. But despite the audio being really, really good from this speaker, what we wish was a little better was the resolution. Now this has a WVGA resolution, which is not even 720p. So that can be a little disappointing uh, for those of you. And of course the focus wheel will help you adjust the crispness. But when you're watching it at about 50 inches, you really, really don't feel the lack in quality when you are watching uh, content on this. For example, we saw the red circle fight sequence in John Wick, which has a lot of reds and blues and blacks with a lot of gunfire thrown into the mix. And it was quite immersive. Similarly, for the motorcycle uh, chase sequence in Mission Impossible, for a show like Young Sheldon, the uh, audio was quite audible. We even played some music on this, but we can't let you listen to the audio for copyright reasons, of course, but we can tell you that the speaker in this projector sounds really, really good. The UI is simple and intuitive. On the home screen, you have all the sources. You also have access to a bunch of settings, which just makes the process of setting up this projector really, really easy. One really interesting feature that this projector has is keystoning. So when you put the projector at a particular angle, you aren't going to get that perfect rectangle shape that you want for your 16 to 9 movies. You are going to have to use keystoning to get the corners just right. And the settings has an auto keystoning button. You just click on that and you watch your parallelogram become a perfect rectangle, for example. So that is really, really cool. Now in the projector box, you get a carrying case, of course. And with the carrying case, you also get this. This is the remote control. And apart from having your standard set of buttons, it has a nice tapering design, which gives it a good grip when you're using it. You don't have to point it absolutely directly at the projector. It can be a little off and it's still recognized, which is really, really nice. However, there is one small problem that I have with the remote control. It has all the buttons up front, which is nice, but the keystoning buttons, the manual keystoning buttons are here on uh, the round pad out here in the middle, which is up and down. So sometimes when you are trying to navigate the projector, instead of pressing up and down to go up and down, it actually changes the keystoning, which can be a little annoying at times, especially if you're in the middle of just setting it up and getting ready to watch a movie. But having said that, our verdict on this projector is that it's very interesting. It has all the connectivity options out there. It has a nifty remote control. The fact that it has a stand built in, you don't have to do anything for the stand, is really convenient. The auto key stoning really helps to get that perfect picture. It can go up to 100 inches from about 9 feet, but we don't actually recommend going that far because you will lose out on the brightness and uh, 100 inches, this projector is built for something that's a little more personal, a little more up close. On the downside, we wish the resolution were a little higher. And when it comes to the battery life, this projector can run on your battery as well. 
uh, ViewSonic claims six hours of battery life. We were able to get about four hours, a little shy of four hours of battery life from this device. So that is definitely something to consider in case you are in the market for a portable projector. So there you have it, guys. That was our review of the ViewSonic M1. As always, you can let us know what you thought of this review in the comment section below. And for more videos like this one, you can subscribe to our channel. We will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.